One is um, that you discount uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John as um, viable sources as evidence. What? The, but the historians use it, and uh, historians use Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John as evidence. And um, I, I just so everybody knows, I'm nobody. I'm just some guy in my kitchen. Um, you said that we don't know who wrote that stuff. Man, I mean, how dense are you? Matthew wrote Matthew. Mark wrote Mark. Luke wrote Luke, and John wrote John. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> I mean, what's <laughs> you don't know who wrote the book? Uh, crazy. As I studied more and more using my intelligence as an evangelical, but also praying about it, I became convinced that the New Testament Gospels were not written by eyewitnesses or by people who knew eyewitnesses. The first point to make is the rather obvious one that the Gospels don't claim to be written by eyewitnesses. They are all anonymous. The titles in your Gospels, the Gospel according to Matthew and so forth, were added by later editors. They were not put there by the original authors. Second point, none of the Gospels claims to be written by the person whose name it bears. They don't claim to be written by eyewitnesses and they don't claim to be written by people named Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those are later traditions that were added to the Gospels. These traditions do not start appearing for about a hundred years. And, uh, but by extension, since all scripture is given by inspiration of God, Holy men of God were moved by the Holy Spirit to write. So by extension, these books are written by God. Right. And as far as uh, physically, Matthew wrote it, Mark wrote it, Luke wrote it, and John wrote it. That answers your question. It also makes you into a liar. You say we don't know who. And this is all verifiable. I have books in the other room. That can, I, can, I can prove this stuff. You said UFOs um, are more reliable than uh, because we have eyewitness testimony, and that that's uh, understandable. And I understand where you're coming, but by your own admission, eyewitness testimony is evidence. Uh, and uh, so, therefore, um, we have 250 million Christians that have been born again, and every one of those people are eyewitnesses who are alive today, and I'm one of those. I met Jesus Christ when I was 35 years old, uh, just like uh, Paul did on the road to Damascus. You're crazy. You're crazy. Man. You're crazy. But yet you reject that. And it's the same exact eyewitness testimony as but you'll accept about a UFO, but you won't accept about Jesus. So, I mean, you, you just uh, make yourself a liar once again. Um, this is what's called cognitive bias. It's preconceived prejudice. And uh, for a definition on cognitive bias I have written down here, it's a mistake in reasoning, evaluating, remembering, or other cognitive processes often occurring as a result of this, holding on to one's personal preferences and beliefs regardless of contrary information. You live you live in a fantasy world and you accuse us of being in fantasy world, which is really crazy, uh, because you hold on to your personal preference in spite of the evidence. And so this is what's going on here. You give me the awful impression, that, I hate to have to say it, of someone who hasn't read any of the arguments against your position ever. So, um, oh, and one other thing, um, Luke, uh, see, there was 500 eyewitnesses 
to Jesus' res resurrection who were still alive when Luke wrote Luke. And Luke interviewed these witnesses and put it down on paper at that time. And that's what the book of Luke is. So therefore, uh, your, your argument is again destroyed, um, saying, uh, and also, actually, um, your argument is invalid, because uh, you said that because it wasn't written down at the time of Christ. No, but it was written down very soon after Christ died. As a matter of fact, um, the Gospels are more reliable in that sense um, than most of what they teach you at school these days. Um, and uh, I mean, they, they will teach you as fact at school writings that uh, were, were, were taken at, at 200 years. Uh, and just a side note, I've never seen an atheist win a debate against a, a creationist, ever. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> so he'd been destroyed, and uh, once again, easily by some dummy in a kitchen. What does that make you, you know? I just addressed every one of your arguments in... in uh, in your video here and uh, refuted everyone and basically I think I gave a better uh, uh, um, testimony here than you do. I don't call this a debate, this is just a reply, but if it was a debate, you have been destroyed. Luga, please. Uh, Christian man destroys atheist once again, as usual, as per usual. Uh, this is repeatable and uh, demonstrable and <laughs> it's been done past tense over and over again uh, but you just got destroyed by nobody I mean so what does that say about you my god are you still talking you know I don't I don't like to use the term but you just got destroyed every one of your arguments that you present in this video were destroyed by me right now in four minutes or less you've been destroyed have a nice day. Uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Destroy. A Christian man destroys atheists. Over and over again. Easy. At, at will. Why is this so easy? I don't know. Because you're a liar. And we are of the truth. <laughs> I guess. Uh, makes sense to me. You poor damn fool. Okay. Have a nice day. Goodbye.